What's this? <laughs> Thank you for preparing. I mean, buying. <laughs> we prepare for food. Yes. So, our breakfast for today, like. Breakfast because <laughs> it's already what time? Like 1 p.m. But we just ate today, and our food is from Chef Riden, my friend. Our friend. Our friend. <laughs> so the husband actually surprised me with this, with our food today, because he said that he will be the one who will prepare. So nito opud ko no, and it turns out that he ordered from. From our chef friend, so thank you so much, Dan, for the yummy food. The omelette is the best, like it's oozing with cheese. And grabi kalame, grabi kadaghan. I can't finish it anymore, but so delicious. So I'm gonna eat this one now. That's it. I've been. I've been wanting this so much but I was holding back because of the sugar no sugar diet so today is cheat day because it's our third anniversary so oh no I'm gonna finally going to taste this cream puffs by Maria Appetizer, ma. <laughs> this is what you call as tomato tartare. <laughs> this is the main dish, and the name of this dish is. Important it is to communicate and not just communicate.
communicate, but to really communicate, listen, and comprehend. And you know what? Communication is so tricky sometimes because no matter how much you explain, sometimes your spouse will not really understand it. So in the end, when you communicate, you need to like understand as well or try to put yourself in his shoes or in her shoes. Communication in marriage personally is not just listening and talking but listening, talking and also understanding and in the end you know you have to like compromise or agree to disagree or be in a place where you can be mutually understanding each other. So that's the first. Okay, so for the second one, as a wife, um, don't be a nagger. I think that's one of the things that I have learned earlier in my marriage. Um, nagging or being a nagger wife is really a mystery to most men. They hate it so much when their wives start talking like nonstop or like an arm light shooting fires at them, you know? They hate that so much. And, and I've learned, you know, the Bible says, Better to live on the roof than share the house with a nagging wife. And that's that's from Proverbs 21. So it's like a wisdom, you know. You start nagging, it's going to be so difficult at home. And you can tell if you're a nagger, if you're always criticizing, you're always, uh, you always have something to say, you have always comments. And I mean, you know, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't say anything. If your husband is always leaving the dirty laundry anywhere, of course, you have to say something, right? But the thing here is, if you are guided with the love of the Lord, you know, you are going to respond in a way that, that doesn't come off as nagging, but it will come off as something that is spoken with love. You know, the Bible says, love is patient, love is kind, and etc. So, yeah, I think that's the thing about nagging, you know? Stop nagging. I mean, nobody likes a nagger. Even outside marriage, nobody likes a nagger. So stop nagging and start doing things with love and with understanding as well. Okay, number three, the last but not the least. Give some love. Show some love. In our three years of marriage, I think this is probably like something that I will cherish forever and that is our morning cuddles. I mean, I know that every family is different or like every couple is different but my point here is that you know show some love give some love be affectionate hugs kisses morning um, cuddles you know sometimes we are so caught up with our own lives and you have this fast-paced life you're always in a run you tend to forget about being affectionate to your husband or your wife so yeah I think that's the one thing that I really love within the three years of our marriage it's showing and giving showering love to your spouse and I think that's the best thing that you could ever have in your marriage apart from Christ of course and so yeah to end this one I just want to cite um, what is written on our ring agreement it says here, it's actually Colossians 3.14 Above all else, clothe yourselves with love which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Marriage is founded by love and the Bible says God is love. So your marriage should be founded in the love of God. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye! Thank you.